What's up, YouTube? You're watching Steel City Motor Vlogs. I'm Derek T. Out here on Friday, July 7th, 2023. And I'm running with my light setup again. And this time, when I say my light setup, I'm talking about one camera, one mic, no full face, completely open. I know the first video was a hit and went off without a hitch. The audio was great, but I was only putting around the city at the same time. This time I'm actually on the highway, riding at highway speed. I'm going about 65 miles an hour right now. And I need to see what my audio setup is gonna sound like at highway speed. Everything that I'm doing now is to get ready for the one week East Coast tour that we're about to get ready to do. Uh, well, we're, running, we're gonna run out to Memphis, Tennessee to the National Biker Roundup, but we're gonna see a few cities along the way. I think you're really gonna like the content from that trip. That's coming up at the end of the month, so I want to know what works. I want to know what doesn't work, so that by the time I get ready to embark on the trip, I'm not struggling at all with footage that I can't use. The itinerary for that trip, we're going to leave on, on, I'm sorry, on July 30th, and we're going to ride from here in Pittsburgh to Lexington, Kentucky about a 375 mile leg. We're going to spend the night in Lexington and then we're going to get up the next day and we're going to continue from Lexington into Nashville, Tennessee. Now that's only a 200 mile leg. It's roughly about a two, maybe two and a half hour run. But we wanted to stop in Nashville. We didn't just want to pass through Nashville and you know say that hey yeah we, we went to Nashville no we wanted to stop and actually spend the day in Nashville so if you're watching this video and you're gonna be um, I'm sorry whoa traffic came all the way down I knew it was gonna do that too I hate riding through here at this time of day because the traffic stops immediately almost right around here and I always watch out for what's coming behind me. I jumped in this lane now just because there's nobody coming behind me in this lane over here. But the person behind me, they might've been on their phone or something like that. They look like they didn't really want to make the adjustment that I was making to slow down for the traffic. Anyway, we want to stop in Nashville and actually spend the day in Nashville. So if you're in the Nashville area, um, and I'll tell you the exact day, I will be in Nashville, Tennessee on August 1st. We'll be riding into Nashville, Tennessee and spending the day in Nashville. So if you are in that area and want to reach out, feel more than free to let me know and let's see if we can do something, make some, some magic happen in Music City. We're gonna leave Nashville on the first and we're gonna head into Memphis. Again, another, from what I can see on a map, a relatively short run, about 200 or so miles, about two and a half hours into Memphis, Tennessee, where we'll be for several days uh, to enjoy the National Bikers Roundup in Memphis, Tennessee. I'll be on Beale Street, on that Wednesday, which I believe is August 2nd, if I'm not mistaken. I'll be on Beale Street at Bike Night for that. So if you're in the Memphis area and would like to get together at Bike Night, let me know. I'll be in that area then. And then um, we're going to ride into Little Rock, Arkansas, another pretty short run. But we're going to run into Little Rock, Arkansas for it and spend a day there. Going to do a turn and burn from Memphis to Arkansas and back to Memphis um, after we spend a few hours there. And then we're gonna start our way home. And instead of uh, running back the same way we came, we're gonna go through Nashville again, but then we're gonna go to Louisville, Kentucky instead of Lexington. Again, just the whole point is to see something different. 
and then from Louisville we'll head it back into the Steel City after that and so that's uh, what the plan is for the week of July 30th going all the way to August 7th and so I want to test all of my equipment and make sure everything is good to go uh, freedom my, my 19, 1998 Goldwing GL 1500 Aspen Cade has been serviced all of the fluids have been swapped out uh, oil change coolant um, my brake and uh, my brake cylinder up here and my clutch cylinder have both been topped off I'm all fluid and ready to go maintenance and ready to go so now I'm testing the cameras and the different vlog setups there'll be different times when I wear the full facer on the highway when we're going that far I like to wear my full face but then when we're actually riding around Memphis and everything else I like to go to this setup so that we have a little bit of a you know I can get a little bit more fresh air and I'm sure it's gonna be good and hot down that way and everything else and I'm sure we'll probably run into some weather as well so I'll have the full face helmet with me I'll be able to run either setup but I really wanted to test this out and see how it sounded at highway only problem is I'm stuck in traffic right now so I'm gonna get back to you once I get on the other side of the Fort Pitt tunnel over here where we can get some more audio on what I sound like at 65 75 miles an hour I won't tell you anything above that because here at Steel City Motor Vlogs, we like to obey the laws. <laughs> I'll be back with you on the other side of this tunnel when I get out of traffic. All right, y'all, I'm in the tunnel. What do I sound like in the tunnel? That's a great question. It's good and loud in here. For obvious reasons. I can barely hear myself talking, so Lord knows what the microphone is picking up right now. But the one thing about this DJI is it's pretty good at filtering out all of the background noise so that you just get my voice. But it can't get everything. I'm not naive enough to believe it's filtering everything out. At least I'm not riding all the way to Memphis in a tunnel. All right, you all, I'm back with you. I think when I left off, I was talking about getting the bike ready for the trip. And I've done all my maintenance, so I'm good on my maintenance. Ready to go with that. The other thing that I did yesterday, and I didn't record it, just because it was so hot outside yesterday. It was about 90 degrees yesterday. So I just wanted to get it done. But I did clean the bike, uh, which was well overdue. It was borderline neglectful on one end. Just because I had been neglecting my responsibility to keep my bike clean, but then on the other hand, it was dirty because it's been written. It's being written, you know? So I guess two things can be true. Because I guess if you shine your bike up and leave it in your garage, it'll stay shiny. But when you're out putting miles on, your bike will wear the evidence of it until you decide to clean it. <laughs> So I got it all shined up and everything else. I'll, I'll do a walk around when I get over here to the jailhouse saloon is where I'm on my way to. I'm going to meet up with one of my club brothers. We're just going to grab some wings. It's happy hour. It's Friday. And I got nothing else to do. So 
So it sounds like a good plan to me. Again, this sound test is me at about 65 miles an hour right now. Um, although I'm slowing down because that's what traffic is doing. Top speed so far, I believe I've been around 70 and had a chance to do some talking at 70. It's like every time I hit the throttle, somebody hits their brake lights. Right through here, I don't know. I think people get nervous for whatever reason. But going on a seven day trip at the end of the month, this is going to be roughly about a 2,500 mile round trip. So we're going to put it in. We're going to put it in. We're going to have a good time doing it. This is the one I look forward to every year. Right, this is me at about 75 miles an hour. Seventy-three. Either way, it should be a pretty good test. We'll see what it sounds like when it gets home. As I always say, if you're watching the video, I guess I liked how it came out. But actually, I think I'm going to post this one even if I don't like how it came out. That way, if you decide to go with this setup for yourself, you know what you're getting into. Turn your back around. I do wish with this setup, I wish that it worked, that it was compatible with uh, GoPro Max 360. Because when I put the Max 360 up, it has a screen that faces me. So I know that I'm in the frame. Right now, Lord knows if I'm in the frame or not. I guess we'll find out one way or the other. if I can get a little bit of wind. All right, here's a little wind at 75. Like I said, I don't know how well you can hear. But I'm gonna slow it down because the speed limit right through here is actually only 40 miles an hour. So I don't need to be going 75 right through here. and then posted it on YouTube and incriminated myself. Y'all, that actually happened. Completely unmotorcycle related. Completely unmotorcycle related. We had some people, there's a, uh, there's a mall in the Pittsburgh area that you can go Google about. It's called Century 3 Mall. Century 3 Mall has been shut down for a number of years now. And it's one of the, according to those people who recorded the video, it's one of the largest malls in the country that's shut down and completely unoccupied. And it's actually a pretty sad story because when I was a kid, Century 3 Mall was kind of like the place to be. But either way, you know, it's decayed. It's, you know, it's really falling down from the inside out. 
whoever buys that land is going to have to knock that building down and start over with whatever development project they're going to do. But these people decided to break into the mall and then shoot a whole documentary about the mall, which I give them credit for. They were from Youngstown, Ohio, which is not terribly far from Pittsburgh, only about an hour. Um, but they, they decided to They decided to break into the mall and shoot a whole documentary about the mall. And I give them credit where credit is due. It was actually very educational. But the problem is it was illegal. And they posted the documentary on YouTube and ended up getting warrants for their arrest and being charged with several trespassing and vandalism related charges. So I guess if I'm going to be speeding around town, I guess the moral of the story is if I'm going to be out here breaking the rules, maybe I shouldn't be posting it on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope I'm in the frame. Because with, with the Hero 8 black facing me, there's no screen on it. And that's just not enough reason <laughs> for me to buy a Hero 10 or a Hero 11. I think one of those actually do have a screen on them, a front-facing screen, but that's not enough reason for me to go get one. I like what I got, I stick with what I got. I just hope I'm in the frame for this clip. And if not, I'll probably post it anyway as a blooper. Adjust it just a little bit. Let's see if that works. Place that I'm going to is actually on this stretch of road about four miles down so not terribly far from where I'm going to be it's 501 which means it's five o'clock somewhere right let the happy hour festivities begin although I'm not a drinker I'm not a drinker coke or pepsi is kind of like my poison of choice So I'm coming for the fun, I'm coming for the fellowship, I'm coming for the food. Everything else, I'll pass. I don't judge people who do drink, it's just not my thing. I definitely would be here by now if I would have gone the other way. Actually, if I would have chosen to even avoid the traffic at the tunnel and peel off to the right I could have gone around all of that and I would be where I'm going right now but like I said I wanted to get that audio test in on the highway it's all good it's all about the ride not even the destination right right y'all like I said I guess um, one way or the other you're going to see this video and hear what the audio sounded like usually I filter out and edit out bad audio but I think I'm going to go on and post the good the bad and the ugly on this one and we'll see where things lie but for now I'm going to go in here and grab some wings and um, oh let me show you let me, I told you I would uh, jump off and do a quick walk around and show you the cleaning job I did all right, so here I am. It's looking nice and clean. The only thing I haven't done yet, and I'll get around to it, I didn't polish my front wheel yet. But I will do that. I just had to get out of the heat yesterday. But, yep, he's looking a whole lot better than it was. Nice little walk around. If you can't, what do they say? If you can't turn around and look back at your bike when you're walking away from it, you bought the wrong bike. 
and I look backwards at mine all the time. <laughs> all right, by the way, let me show you this real quick. That's the transmitter, um, and that's actually the receiver connected to the media mod there. All right. All right, going inside. I'll get back with you all when I get back on the bike. <laughs>